Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Nelson. Here's a look at what's going on this week in the news. We begin with news from around the country. Cardinal Sean O'Malley, Archbishop of Boston, has authorized a special collection in support of the relief efforts to areas devastated by Hurricane Harvey in the Houston, Texas area. The collection is set to take place the weekend of September 9th through the 10th in all the parishes of the Archdiocese of Boston. The money collected in this one-time special appeal will go towards supporting Catholic Charities USA's humanitarian and recovery work. The funds will also provide pastoral and rebuilding aid to the diocese impacted by the hurricane. In a statement released by the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, Archbishop Jose Gomez of Los Angeles, Vice President of the conference, is calling on all bishops across the country to also consider taking up collections in their diocese, either the weekend of September 2nd or 3rd or September 9th and 10th. In the statement, Archbishop Gomez said, Our hearts and prayers go out to the families that have lost loved ones and to all who have lost homes and businesses, along with their sense of peace and normalcy. All monies collected will be distributed by the USCCB to Catholic Charities USA. In news from the Vatican, two members of a Brazilian soccer team that survived a plane crash last year in Colombia met the Pope at the Vatican. Most of their teammates perished in the crash. They arrived at the Vatican with new members of the team, along with families of those who died in the crash. Rome Reports has more from the Vatican. Pope Francis personally greeted these two soccer players who survived the Chapacoense aerial tragedy. Most of the players on this Brazilian team died in a plane crash in Colombia on November 28, 2016, on their way to the South American Cup final. The team president gave the Pope a t-shirt and the mayor invited the Pope to visit his city. Then Pope Francis spent time with the emotional relatives of the players who lost their lives. No, no, no. Thank you. He also greeted the new players, including some from Argentina. This week they will play a friendly match in Rome against AS Roma in memory of those missing from the team. 71 people died in that plane crash from last November. Only six people survived. In news now from around the world, in a joint statement released August 31st, the Council of European Bishops Conferences, the Conference of European Churches, and the European Christian Environmental Network are inviting all Christians to pray for the world and the environment during a month-long celebration of creation. The statement said that recent developments remind us of the growing urgency of the continuing climate change, loss of biodiversity, growing piles of waste, and many other challenges. The statement invites parishes, church communities, and people of goodwill to celebrate a time for creation from September 1st to October 4th, as well as to observe the September 1st World Day of Prayer for Creation. More news from the Vatican. Well, with the summer months coming to an end, Pope Francis is heading back to his normal schedule. He has a very busy beginning to the month of September. As is usual, during summer break, the Pope did not have an official meeting or large ceremonies. He only kept the Angelus on his schedule each Sunday and during the month of August, his weekly general audience for pilgrims on Wednesdays. However, starting from the beginning of September, his agenda resumes its usual intensity. On Monday, September 4th, he will meet with thousands of members of the Shalom movement. This lay movement of charismatic inspiration is celebrating its 35th anniversary. On Wednesday, September 6th, he will depart for Colombia for an intense five-day apostolic voyage. He will visit four cities to promote peace and reconciliation. He returns to Rome on September 11th, where he will have three intense days of meetings with the Council of Cardinals. The first part of September will also include resuming daily Mass at the Casa Santa Marta, meetings with bishops from all over the world, and audiences with heads of state and large international organizations. And finally in the news, Pope Francis met August 31st at the Vatican with representatives of the Conference of European Rabbis, the Rabbinical Council of America, and the Commission of the Chief Rabbin of Israel. The groups are engaged in dialogue with the Holy See's Commission for Religious Relations with the Jews. The Pope told the delegation gathered that in recent decades they have been able to draw closer to one another and to engage in an effective and fruitful dialogue. 
He went on to say that they have grown in mutual understanding and deepened their bonds of friendships. The rabbis presented the Pope with their written declaration between Jerusalem and Rome, which according to the declaration offers an important contemporary Jewish Orthodox reflection on the relationship between Judaism and Christianity. Before leaving, the Pope told the delegation Shana Tova conveying his best wishes for the Jewish New Year, which begins September 20th. Well, that is all the information we have for you at this time. I'm Kevin Nelson. Don't forget, you can keep up to date on Catholic News throughout the week with Catholic News Break right here on the Catholic TV Network.